Well, welcome back to another Gibbs adventure and uh, today I'm gonna fire up the old sawmill. I haven't fired it up in a couple of years actually. So, a little bit of rust. Gonna have to boost it, put a battery in it, change the gas, get her going and make, saw a couple logs up here just for fun. Just to kind of get things moving here. But follow along, we'll get her going. Take a few minutes to unwrap it and uh, we'll see what it is. I really like to uh, cut logs because they're sustainable. And uh, it's always neat when you take a round log and you make planks out of it. And I'll, I'll show you that. You can see the bugs are into some of this stuff here. You can see all the sawdust from the grubs that are inside the, the logs or as long as the bark is on, the bugs get into it. So when you're sawing logs, you try to saw them quick get the bark off and then the bugs don't go into them the, the grubs don't chew them all up but anyways we're at the sawmill today see how it goes so I got it all ready to fire up got the boosters on it put a little bit of fresh gas in her see how it goes It's been almost two years since I had fired up my sawmill. Been so busy doing all kinds of things that I just haven't had time. But I was super happy and super glad to be out doing a little bit of milling today.
I find it a really neat thing to take a round log and to make it square and cut planks off it. So here's the, the little pile of wood I made. Made a couple of 4x4s, a 3x3, a couple pieces of 1x6, and some 1x4. That was those pieces of wood that was sitting on the deck there. And uh, you can see, I make a bit of sawdust and I collect all my sawdust. I use it for uh, soaking up grease and oil and whatnot. And when I'm trapping, I use it when I'm flushing and whatnot. So. I put the tarp down and I'll I'll put that all inside of a five gallon pail and I'll save it. So the wood was kind of shitty because it had uh, was full of worms that sat too long. And you can see all the, the, the holes in the logs. That's that's basically from the worms chewing their way through it. So they got a kind of a shelf life like everything in the world. It sits long enough, things start breaking it down, and that's one of the things that, that does it is the uh, is the grubs they'll chew their way through the the wood so there's taking a round log and making some square pieces out of it it's kind of cool i think right on on to the next one so back at the sawmill and shut it down Well, that's a wrap. Got the mill closed up for now. We'll uh, keep the rain off the engine and the, and the bearings. So good to go. Haven't cut for a little while, so it was nice to cut a little bit of wood on the mill. I always find cutting uh, saw logs into lumber uh, kind of good for the soul. It's kind of a neat experience. So have a little bit of wood that I cut and I got a little bit of firewood here to go it's all good not very much waste when you really look at it and uh, trees grow every year and it's a kind of a neat way to use them and utilize them gives you a kind of a perspective of what uh, the value of trees they're uh, they're there for more than just shade <laughs> there you go